Epoxyferrin compounds. Epoxyferrin compounds are widely used for filling and fairing in the yacht industry. They're robust and versatile products for use both above and below the waterline. There are some basic precautions to take whilst applying any epoxy-based filler products. As with any chemicals, you must take care while using these products and always read the label before use. It's also advisable to check the All Grip website for up-to-date information and the relevant material safety data sheets. Epoxyferrin compounds such as Allfair are used for repairs and cosmetic purposes such as profiling. Epoxyferrin compounds are usually supplied as two components. The base component, an epoxy resin, and the converter, which is based on amine. These two components are mixed in order to create a reaction. As with all chemicals in use in boat yards, there are hazards to be aware of with the use of epoxies. When epoxies come into contact with skin, they do not easily pass through it, and they're not normally toxic to people internally. However, epoxies are an irritant and will cause red, itchy rashes, though these can be treated with soothing cream and normally heal after a few days. Curing agents used in epoxy fairing compounds also carry the same risk as they have similar properties as epoxies. They can cause irritant rashes, however some are also corrosive, meaning they could cause skin burns. In certain circumstances, epoxies and amines can penetrate the skin and pass into the bloodstream. This will cause the production of antibodies. If that happens, then the affected person will have a reaction to the smallest presence of epoxies or amines. As before, this will cause a severe irritant rash. To prevent sensitization of the skin to epoxies or amines, you should always wear personal protective equipment. However, should you become sensitized, you must seek medical advice immediately. It is important to remember that irritation is common in the workplace if protective equipment is not properly worn, whereas true sensitization is relatively rare. If you become sensitized, then you may be permanently restricted from working with these materials. Fillers and fairing compounds are generally a lot thicker than standard two-component epoxy paints and do not splash as easily. However, care must still be taken to avoid direct contact. With personal safety in mind, you should take note of the following. Avoid splashing product onto bare skin or into eyes. Avoid skin contact via contamination of clothing. And be aware that sweat will allow skin contact with the filler and that irritant rashes are therefore more likely. The hazard presented by epoxy-based sanding dust is much lower than when dealing with wet product. Chemically, the base and curing agent should have largely reacted with each other. However, the dust still contains some active materials and are a potential health hazard. The hazards are dust can easily coat the skin, sweat caused by heavy work can lead to dust more easily sticking to skin and accumulating, especially in the fold of the elbow joint. Fine dust particles from wood, GRP and fillers are potentially harmful if breathed into the lungs. When sanding epoxy fairing compounds, it's recommended as a minimum that a half-face respirator is worn uh, capable of filtering out particulate matter. Anti-static steel toe cap safety boots should again be worn. A long sleeve, long leg cotton overall, preferably with a hood, and long sleeve gloves should be worn, as should safety goggles or glasses. The overalls, glove and boot overlap should also be sealed with tape to stop dust from getting in. Barrier cream should not be worn to protect face skin while sanding is in operation and it should not be used in place of protective clothing. To summarise, epoxy-based fillers and fairing compounds are extremely useful products offered by a large number of companies. When care is taken in their use, these materials can be used safely with little risk to the applicator.